Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering at Aspen channel. In our previous lecture, we had simulated the shortcut distillation column in Aspen Hisense, and now we will be doing the same exercise but today in Aspen Plus. So, what is the problem statement for our simulation of shortcut distillation column in Aspen Plus is that we have been given an equimolar mixture of methanol and water at 25 degrees centigrade and 101.325 kilopascal pressure and the flow rate of that mixture is 100 k mol per hour and we have been given the information about the top product that the top product contain 50 k mol per hour obviously the flow rate with 99 mol percent methanol and 1 mol percent water so the flow rate of the top product is 50 k mol per hour the mole fraction of the top product is 0.99 methanol and 0 0.01 water so we will now go to the Aspen Plus and we will simulate this activity over there. So first thing as you know that is to add the components to methanol is added and then we will add water over here. Then click on this next and we will select the base method as NRTL. Then click on next, estimate using Unifax and then run. Obviously we are given the properties over here. So even if we not, do not click it here, it's okay, but if there are no binary properties or binary interaction parameters given over here, then obviously it is better or it is necessary to give or take it to get the required properties. Then go to the simulation environment after defining the components and the property package and going to this columns. This is the shortcut distillation column DSTWU shortcut distillation column design using the Win Underwood Gilliland method. So we will click on it and we will place it over here. And then we will connect the material streams. Remember that in Aspen Hysis, we had to define the material streams and energy streams, but here we need to already define the or connect the material streams. Now we will just quickly label it feed, up, and bottoms. Obviously, we cannot define top in any of the names because it is the reserved ID by Aspen. So double click on this feed and 25 degrees centigrade, 1.01325 bar or 101.325 kilopascal. The molar flow rate of the feed is 100 k mol per hour, while the mole fraction, if you select over here, of methanol and water is 0.5.5 each. Then we will go to this block, which is our simulation block. First, we will define the pressure 1.01325 bar for condenser, 1.01325 bar for reboiler. If you remember our previous lectures, I had said in that lecture that instead of defining the number of stages we need to just define the reflux ratio in negative and let's say it is minus 1.3 why it is negative because it will calculate the minimum reflux ratio and then it will multiply it with this factor if you see molar reflux ratio if i show you again over here molar reflux ratio if greater than zero it is the desired reflux ratio. Like if we define 0.1.2, it will take it as an actual reflux ratio. But if it is less than minus one, desired reflux ratio, which is calculated from the given data, is specified value times the minimum reflux ratio. Like if we do not define minus one, if we define it as plus 1.3, Aspen will say it is 1.3. But once we have added minus 1.3, Aspen will calculate the properties or Aspen will calculate the minimum reflux ratio and then Aspen will multiply that ratio with 1.3 to give you the answers of the actual number of stages or different parameters such as duties and so on. Now, if you look at here in this region, key component recoveries of light key and heavy key. Now, this is for the top product, remember. This section is to define the top product and bottom product will be automatically defined using this data. In case if you are given the data of the bottom product, in our this example, we are given the data of top product. But in case if your data, if you are given the data of bottom product, you have to first convert it to top product and then you have to define the recoveries over here. So our light key is methanol, heavy key is water. Now, what is the recovery? Obviously, we have to go to Excel to find the recovery values. So let's go to this Excel sheet and I have predefined it that the total flow rate is 100k mol per hour. Methanol flow rate is 50, while water flow rate is 50 k mol per hour. Now we have been given that the total flow rate of the top product is 50 k mol per hour, and 99 mol percent of 
top product is methanol while remaining quantity is water now this is the mole fraction first we have to define the recovery the total amount in the top product divided by the amount in the feed so 49.5 divided by 50 it is 0.99 and 0.5 divided by 50 it is 0 0.01 so these are the recovery values of methanol and water in the top product so we have to go back to the s1 find recovery as 0.99 as 0 0.01 the condenser specification as a total condenser now the run button is active once we click on this run processing and then results are available it means that our desired data is achieved right click on the stream results and you can see over here that 49.5 and 0.5 and even if you look at the mole fraction the given data was that 50k mole per hour with methanol as 99 mole percent in the top product and 1 mole percent water in the top product. If you look at the stroke block, you can see that the minimum flux ratio is 0.51, actual reflux ratio is 0.668, minimum number of stages are 8, actual number of stages 16, feed stage 11, number of actual stages 10 above the feed. Reboiler boiler duty, condenser duty, distillate temperature, bottom temperature, and these are the different information which we have calculated from shortcut distillation column. So these are the initial estimates, and using these estimates, we can now proceed to the rigorous design. But obviously, we will be doing in the upcoming lecture. So I hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any query, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box, and I would be happy to answer it. That's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel.